What's going on, everyone? I Luke Games here, and today we have a new Squadcast podcast with myself, J Miles Sethley, and Quad MFT. Now, if you have not already subscribed to the Squadcast podcast channel, please do so. The link is down in the description below. After you are done watching or listening to the podcast, please leave a comment with a question for the next podcast in the comments below. We feature at least one question from the comments in the next podcast, and we greatly appreciate giving us some good topics to talk about. In this episode, we talk about all the event modes, lack of servers in certain areas globally, and the potential of Apex Mobile, which I have a clip of right after this. But remember, this is only a clip of a 30-minute podcast, so I would really appreciate if you use the link in the description and go listen to the whole podcast. We can't do this without you. Help me show the other knuckleheads in this podcast with me how powerful the iLoot Games audience is. Oh, and yes, this video is also part of the 1000 Apex Coin giveaway. If you did not get a chance to catch my stream yesterday, I will link to the VOD in the description where you can find where I did the 1000 Apex Coin giveaway for a random YouTube comment and to one person who was watching the stream. That's right, every week I give away at least 2,000 Apex Coins and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed, comment on my videos with some quality feedback, and like the video. Having a notification bell on really helps increase your odds so you do not miss a video and you keep up to date with all the news in Apex, all the leaks in Apex, and your odds of winning go through the roof. I also give away another 1,000 Apex coin to people who watch my stream. You can join the stream at twitch.com slash games and use the command exclamation point giveaway to get details about how to enter just by watching. That's going to be it for me. I hope you are all excited about tomorrow's event. I know I am. Enjoy the podcast preview. And then once again, please go check out the full episode after this. All right, guys, take care. All right, so moving on to the next subject. Before we actually talk about the servers, uh, we're going to be reading the question of the day from for the podcast that comes from a user named Subatomic OCE. And his question is, thoughts on the mobile Apex Legends being released? I know it'd be a lot of work, but when Fortnite released mobile, they gained millions more players, millions of more players. So my response on this is you look at the success of call of duty mobile right now and um <laughs> the reason it's so successful number one i think it's a really easy to play and the game runs really well but then it also has like some like nostalgia in it with like the intervention audio sounds on yeah, the, sniper, like the old maps a lot too. Of the old maps the black ops one maps that are really fun some of the call of duty 4 maps but it's so the the, re, the the main reason is because it's so convenient. Everyone has a mobile device. Pretty much everyone has a mobile device. Everyone loves the game. They're just not always able to play it. So having a mobile um, device and having the, the application on a mobile device and being eligible for it, it's going to allow people to play at their convenience. So when they're on break at work, they can just pop in a little Apex game. That's what I think is going to be a big success for Apex when they do decide to release it. We know it's confirmed. We know they talked about it in the EA earnings call before. It's just a matter of time of when they're going to do it. What do you guys think about the mobile event? How big do you think it will be for Apex? And what do you think about the mobile um, the, the mobile uh, app with crossplay? Do you think it's okay to release the mobile um, Apex Legends app before crossplay, or do you think it has to be released with crossplay? Uh, personally, I don't think either it matters either way. I just want both, no matter what. I don't care if they come at the same time. I just want both. I want crossplay, no matter what. I want that mobile app to spread the popularity of Apex and uh, you know give the ability uh, for people who can't afford a console or a decent PC to be able to play and experience Apex. It would it would expand the the, the player count and just overall popularity of Apex by a ton, dude. Apex needs the mobile app to come out. I mean. Hopefully yeah. it's coming out soon. I think it'd be awesome. Even even if you're in school, that's when people people kids play Fortnite yeah, on their exactly. phone, like in the car. Like oh, this is something that Apex needs, and I'm glad that it's confirmed. But I want a little bit more info from the devs. Yeah, how does PUBG work right now? Do they the mobile PUBG players actually play with the regular PUBG player? No, no, it's completely no, it's different. It's, there's no crossplay yeah. for PUBG at all. Even okay, because I was PC. just like, how could you even keep up with the PC player? <laughs> yeah, you'd have no yeah, chance. That would be insane. Now, but now, like mobile players, I think on Fortnite have the option to play with PC players, but I don't think it automatically cues them in to pc lobbies unless oh i i know that pc actually can play with mobile because i've done it before with 
um, with my friends. But yeah, I did it before I just, just to destroy the mobile noobs, not yeah, gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I, I just don't know how that's uh, how exactly that's gonna work or, or what. I, I feel like personally to maximize the potential of the mobile uh, release and crossplay, they need to do both together because I think it'll bring the most attention at one hot time uh, and kind of like the, so the people that come and say oh there's mobile but there's no cross play still not going to play or the people that come and say oh there's cross play but still not mobile it'll get everyone every all those people that those naysayers that aren't going to come because of that one thing that they're, they're nitpicky on i think it'll get those extra people and I, I think that's the best way to maximize that potential so thanks for the question subatomic appreciate your question make sure you guys leave a comment down below uh, just giving us a question on what you think what you would like to see in apex or what you would like to hear our opinions of for the game of apex so make sure to leave that comment down below now moving on to the servers